one of the most frequently asked questions on any video or picture and I'm pretty sure many calligraphers can say the same is what's the pen you use? So in today's video I'll give you some suggestions of the most used calligraphy pens. Hi everyone and welcome back to Calligraphy Masters channel. My name is Milanist and in today's video I'll be talking about the different categories of pens, also the prices they cost and where you can get them. I'll put all the info and links in the description so make sure you check it out. Without further ado, let's jump into it. Number 10, just a regular pencil or ballpoint pen. Those go anywhere from zero up to whatever the prices are in the region where you're living. The pencil could be used as a single one to do uh, calligraphy like a copper play script by applying different angles of the tip as well as different pressure. It can be used also as two pencils put together with tape or rubber band to do a broad edge pen calligraphy. Also you can use the pencil just to do some lettering and what lettering is, is basically drawing the letters. With a ballpoint pen you can uh, do calligraphy again by applying different pressure and using the proper paper and you can do also lettering by drawing the letters. Number nine, graffiti writers markers and those go anywhere from two, three dollars up to twenty dollars depending on the price and the tip size that you're using. Of course for those markers you have to use either a bigger paper, bigger surface to write or you can use it for walls and any other surface that's big enough to fit the size of the tip. Number eight, custom made pens. For example, this one is uh, made by a friend of mine who is based in Russia, Anton Haus. He made this uh, broad edge pen for me with this custom holder. And uh, this, this one is something similar to a ruling pen and you can either buy those pens or you can make them yourself. And the prices of custom made pens can go anywhere from 10 up to hundreds of dollars depending on the pen on the holder and all the details about it i'll put links to all the pens where you can buy them number seven fountain pens fountain pens can go anywhere from zero up to thousands and hundreds of thousands of dollars literally depending on the brand and uh, and the materials that the fountain pen is made of for example here i have two pens from wish.com and they are they cost me zero. I had to pay just like 50 cents or one dollar for the shipping. And I guess they are replicas, but pretty good. I don't know if this one is actually a replica, but this one is definitely a replica. And it's a replica of the Lamy fountain pen, which is uh, very popular amongst calligraphers. Number six, markers. For example, the ones I have, they have uh, two tips on both sides. And on one side is a uh, monoline tip and the other one is uh, with a broad edge with a broad edge tip which is uh, cut vertically there are different prices they come anywhere from 5 up to 15 maybe more dollars per piece and maybe even cheaper if you get a big package for from like i don't know 15 20 30 markers in it but i have at home also molotov of those and they are pretty cool for having fun and especially if you're a beginner. Number five, ruling pens. Ruling pens uh, usually were created and been used in architecture to draw just lines, but at some point calligraphers decided or found out that they, they can use it for calligraphy. And ruling pens can cost anywhere from 15, like this one, Pratic pen costs $16 up to 50, 60 dollars. This one, Hendrikmik, is 52 euro. At least it was that price when it was sent to me. Number four, brush pens. Brush pens can be very different from type to a tip. They are soft brush pens, they are also hard brush pens, and there are also some with hairs. They can cost anywhere from uh, two, three dollars, up to 10, 15, maybe even more, depending on the brush pen, the quality and the brand. For example, this is a Molotov brush brush pen, which is brand new. You can you see I can't open it. You have to get the sticker away. Come on, okay. 
This is a Molotov uh, brush pen with... It seems soft, but at the same time it's uh, hard, some kind of material. It's a pretty cool brush pen. Here is a Japanese... No, this is made in Thailand. I don't know what this brand, it was a gift to me. And it's a brush pen with a hard tip. Here is a Faber Castell with a soft one and a longer. Then we have the Royal Talents which is pretty flexible and but it's also a hard tip. We have the very popular watercolor brush pens which are usually with hair and also a very popular one is the Tombow what was it? Uh, I forgot the... I think it's the pocket Tombow not sure but it has uh, two kinds it has both soft and hard tip Number three, broad edge pens, for example, automatic pens or Pratic pens, the one which I have in my hands. There are also maybe other brands, but uh, I'm not, I don't know any right now. So if you know, you can share with me, but I, I'm sure I've seen other brands as well. Those two are most popular, or at least most popular to me. They cost anywhere from 10 up to $15 and they come in a variety of sizes and uh, different nibs. Number two, straight and oblique pen holders. The straight pen holders can cost anywhere from one up to two, three dollars. And uh, together with the nib, they can end up up to five, ten dollars, something like this, depending on the nib that you're using. You can see here, I have both with the broad edge nibs as well as a pointed nib. And then the oblique pen holder can cost also around ten dollars, but not this one. This is a custom one which cost hundreds of dollars and it's made by my friend from Turkey Ali Petsaklar and there will be again links in the description number one my favorite pens the ones which made me fall in love with calligraphy uh, pilot parallel pens they can cost anywhere from 10 up to 15 dollars a pen or you can find them from 25 up to 35 40 dollars for the whole pack package and this package uh, includes four different sizes as you know i have three here with me uh, pilot parallel pen is uh, is actually a fountain pen but is uh, a different one you can see they are broad edge fountain pens and are probably one of the most popular and used pens for calligraphy our days and a big reason for the popularity of the pens is because of Tius Wan who made the first review of Pilot Parallel pens years ago the video which made me start calligraphy they are perfect for beginners as well for people who are more advanced in calligraphy so guys let me know in the comments which one is your favorite pen which one you used and which one you haven't but you would like to try also if there are some pens that you didn't see in this video but you think it was a good idea to be in the video let me know in the comments if you enjoyed the video thumbs up will be much appreciated if you're new to the channel subscribe and click the bell icon i'll see you in the next video and as always keep writing hi everyone and what <laughs> And in today's video, I'll be talking about different kinds of uh, paper. <laughs>